And I remember nine years old, sitting in the third row, second seat of a fourth grade class with roughly 25 other doe eyed children. My 50 something year old teacher beams one smile at her flock and tells us she's going to lead a 15 minute history exercise where she will help the class figure out the origin of each person's name. Lists run down in orderly fashion. Smith, see that's straight from England. We chuckle. Blonde haired girl's name ends in ski. She's immediately recognized as Polish. Talking heads laugh and nod in agreement. Now it's my turn. Teacher studies my five letter last name for 10 seconds. Brow furrowed, See, she searches for answers. And as I sit staring at this display, I couldn't help but watch as four brightly colored walls cave in. Time rolls backwards. 1992 begins to feel a lot more like 1902. Suburban classroom converts to Ellis Island, Island holding cell. Finally, blue eyes light up. She says, okay, o Obilo. That's, uh, that's like, oh, apostrophe Bilo. Sounds like you have an Irish name. She moves on quickly, but indelible marks etched in brain. And I begin to understand why Lady Liberty looks so stained.